Hey folks, y'all see what it says? Uh, the coach of uh, the Phoenix WNBA team is shocked that the crowd didn't show for Brittany Griner's return. Okay, I'm gonna let me let me just go through the story and I'll I'll, I'll uh, throw mine towards the end. She looked like Steve Nash with a with two small bumps on his chest and a different haircut. Oh, and dyed his hair blonde. She looked like Steve Nash. And Steve Nash, matter of fact, he played for Phoenix, too. But I don't know, so a lot of people didn't like him. Oh, he shouldn't have won this, and this, that, and other, and MVP. Look, man, Stevie Nash had them handles. He had handles, ball and uh, got the ball in the right place on time, and he would score if he had to. He wasn't scared to shoot. He wasn't a shoot first. But uh, he was passed first, but when he had to shoot, he'd shoot it. Man, little Stevie Nash would catch you slipping. Um, uh, especially when he had, oh, man, what's my what's my dude? Uh, I'm having a brain cramp. The past, too. The brother, tall, dark-skinned brother, always wore the goggles. You know, he'd clean it up right at the rim. I'm having a, I'm having a brain cramp. Anyway. Uh, coach Vanessa Nygaard, Nyard, bemoaned the fact that there wasn't a sellout crowd for Brittany Griner's triumphant return to the game after nearly a year embroiled in the Russian prison system. Look, I ain't gonna sit here and say, "Oh man, she should have done." Oh man, because I would, I made two videos if I remember correctly. The one when she went, when like when they locked her up. And I think I've done another one when they let her go. I wasn't one of them, yeah, that's good. Yeah, lock her up because she, nah, nah, you know. It's, it's, people do, hey, everybody got their own mind, their own opinion. But um, I wasn't with that. I just called it as I see it. I'm not a fan of that lifestyle. I'm not a fan of none of that stuff. But the only thing I did was just report what was happening and I left it alone. Coach Miff that the stands weren't exactly overflowing. Okay, Coach, has there ever been, I don't know, y'all tell me, or maybe the coach would tell me, has there ever been a game, a WNBA, WNBA game that's been sold out? Regular season, opening game, playoff, championship, I don't know. But you mad, but tell you what, Coach, you need to point this, direct this at females. That's who you need to direct it at. Don't direct it at men. Men go to the uh, men's games. Chicks go to the men's games. What you talking about? This all that that fem that fembot movement and all that crap. Then uh, the your stands should be full of freaking fembots every game, but they're not. And you can't, and the WNBA, uh, the WNBA, the NBA is the one that pays the, the, the pays you guys salary. You're a loss leader. All of y'all. So what are you talking about? But notice they won't, but notice she won't get on, won't get on her fellow fembots. And you know, in the, in the WNBA, that's, that's Rainbow Rider Central. So uh, how come the how come the rainbow right? Oh, that's right, that's right. They only two percent of the population. That's right, and ain't no telling how many of that two percent actually like basketball or any other type of sport. My bad. What was I thinking? Let's see what Coach got to say. Uh oh, hold on a second. I don't hear nothing. Hold on a second. It was it was great, but like honestly, come on, LA. Like we didn't sell out the arena for BG. Like I expected more. You know, to be honest, right? Like it was great. It was loud, but um, how was how was it not a sellout? How was it not a sellout? Um, but because females don't support your sport, that's why. <sighs> 
her team lost. It was nice, nice to be back on the court and in a real game and everything. The love from the fans who came out was amazing and the players, I definitely felt it. And I felt it when I was there, she said. It was nice, but performance-wise, it wasn't good enough because I couldn't help the team with a dub. Not many on Twitter were very sympathetic over Coach Guards. I know I'm probably butchering her name. Lament about the crowd. TJ Moe, I have no idea who that is, who none of these people are. Turns out every person interested in the WNBA was in that arena. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry about that. Uh, and incarcerated in Russia, Brittany has... Uh, has uh, more value than free WNBA Britney. I ain't even got to hit it. Y'all know what gift that is. Uh, here's looking at you all, the feminists and Hollywood celebrities. Yeah, where were they at? Oh, the sellout was definitely, oh, a sellout was definitely involved. Ouch. Now, I look at it like this. Now, now, yeah, now wait a minute. Holly Weird was going eight crap, right? Even you had the uh, these um uh, fake ass rappers out here talking they smack, pump bumping they guns. I'm telling y'all, they're the left is a farce. They're fake. They're fraudulent. You can't believe them on practically anything. All those people that was doing all that uh, uh, chair banging, foot stomping for Brittany Griner. They should have had that. Where was all that? How come that didn't carry over to the stadium? Where were they at? Where were they at? Pharrell was talking here. That uh, Was Pharrell at the game? I don't know. He was da 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 this that and other was he at how many uh, how many uh, NBA players that was pumping that stuff was at the game? I'm quite sure it was some, but how many? Was the ones tweeting and bumping their gums and IG and everything were they there? It's the NW it, the in it's the WNBA and nobody cares. There you go, shrinkage. Hey. Maybe people don't care about the WNBA, and this is a chick. Ashley, maybe people aren't interested in watching a flag-hating American who is now just a little less of a flag-hating American. Ooch, ow. Damn. Ashley, Ashley throwing elbows. Griner, of course, loudly supported the anti-national anthem movement in 2020, but since returning home from a Russian gulag, she says she suddenly has a new love for the United States and said she will stand from the anthem for now on, which is some. So you trying to tell me you had to get caught accidentally. I'll take your word for it. Accidentally with dope juice, wheat, whatever it is in your bag and get thrown into a, a Russian gulag, you know, comrade, glorious news from the Eastern front. Duh! You, it took that for you to realize you couldn't. You can click. You can in, in the computer age now. You didn't have to travel like we did in the in the eighties, which we did. We traveled a lot. Books, National Geographic, and all that other stuff. You can click and see stories around the world, and be, should be able to come up with. We ain't perfect, but we ain't fill in the blank. We ain't, you know, we ain't the Eastern Bloc. You know, we ain't Pyongyang. You know what I mean? It, it, you, you don't even have to leave your freaking living room to figure that out now. But anyway, I'm done. Know what I say? To me, it's a nothing burger. Sorry, coach. It is what it is. So until you get out here and round up all your rainbow riders and other and the flag haters and and the this that and others and get all them wound up until you get them to fill in the seats don't worry about us regular folks all right let's go with that one coach bye